Hello everybody, welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars, and it's time for Friday Funnies. That's right, it's time where we take a look at some of the funny stuff we found on the internet over the past week. Now, it may seem like I've been on vacation, and I wish I have been on vacation, but I've actually been sick. I know I haven't put out very many videos lately. Had this upper respiratory thing, and feels like the flu, but it wasn't the flu, but man, did it wipe me out. And the worst part was, it just completely took my voice away. <coughs> Still got a little bit of a cough. Um, but totally took my voice away. I was able to pull it together enough to do the Cybertruck 0 to 60. But other than that, like people don't even recognize me when I talked on the phone. They're like, ooh, you sound terrible. And I did sound terrible. And I felt terrible. But I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. And I'm like, I have got to get back to making videos because this is what I love to do. So it is time. It's a great day to come back to do Friday Funnies. So we're going to do Friday Funnies and jump in there. Thank you for sending me the videos that you have found. Keep those coming. I'm working through all those, and we'll make sure we give you credit. We'll show them. All right. All right. Here we go. So let's jump in here right now. All right. So this first one up, it's uh, it's actually sad. I, I know I have some friends that are truck drivers. This is something I would do. I I just know I would do something wrong and have this happen. But the the quote that came along with this was, was pretty funny. So let's jump in here and watch this one. It's like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh. Oh, smash. It came with the title of These Baby Reveals Are Getting Crazy. <laughs> I don't know what kind of an orange, brown paint or uh, powder would mean. Usually seeing pink or blue, but that's okay. Orange is great. But yeah, that was pretty bad right there. That guy took out. Oh, look at that at full speed. Boom. Okay, that's pretty rough. So anyway, that was, but the there was more of the quote on there that I thought was pretty funny. Okay, so we're going to jump into this one. Um, this one is crazy because this car is loaded down. <laughs> and we've seen some videos and stuff out right here of cars that have been loaded down, some trucks that have been loaded down. They usually are, you know, uh, guys hauling carpet and stuff like that. But this one is insane. Check this out. Like the back, the rear bumper is almost scraping the ground. Every conceivable space is filled, and not only is it filled with stuff, check this out. There's one, two, three, there's like six people inside that car. Look at that. They got that thing weighed down, and the fact that it is still going is, is insane. I can't believe it. Okay, uh, so this one, I'm going to back up just a second, because when I first saw it, take a look right there. You can see there is a car in front of that truck being pushed, right? Let's see if I can back this up so we can go, okay, right there. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so there is a car that is being pushed along in front of that semi. Now, he finally does come to a stop. Um, if you watch as many of the dash cam videos like I do, uh, of course, everybody here gets out. If you watch a lot of those videos, there's a lot of times, and I'm not saying these people are. I'm just saying truck driver here gets out and talks to them. There's a lot of the times that they are trying to do insurance fraud, right? They're trying to cut in front, slam on their brakes, or do something that makes it look like it was the truck that did it. Uh, and it was their bad driving. I don't know what happened in this case because we didn't get to see it all, but I see a ton of these. Uh, that's why it's always great that the truck drivers have their dash cams. I got one for Christmas, so I'm going to be using mine here soon, uh, especially on roundabouts. We'll talk about roundabouts here in a second. But yeah, this poor guy here, man, wow. Um, he pushed that car a long way, and he's having a serious conversation with, I'm sure it's like, you can't cut in front of me. Uh, but man, yeah, that was a mess. Okay, uh, moving on here to the next one. <laughs> I love this one because look at the damage of this car. Look at that bad boy roll. Comes to a stop, but the windshield wipers are still working. <laughs> and check that out. He's just able to open the door and get out. So, I mean, that's that's pretty good construction right there. But, yeah, check it out. He comes flying around that corner, flips that over, end over end, man, multiple times. Comes to a stop, but the windshield wipers are still fully functional. They're not actually touching the windshield anymore. <laughs> But they're still going. That's pretty good. Okay. This one is funny. You ever been driving in traffic and somebody does something stupid or someone breaks the law completely out of selfish reasons and you're like, man, I wish there was a cop here right now, right? Someone needed to see that because that person, that's terrible. Watch here. Watch the left shoulder. Watch that left median on the end of there and check it out. We're all in traffic and that guy goes flying by and uh-oh, judgment day. <laughs> <laughs> There's a policeman right there. It's hilarious. Keep watching here. So watch here on the left. That car just flies down the shoulder. I've seen people do this. Drives me crazy. But nope. Today, he got caught. So there was a little bit of justice on that one. That one's pretty funny. 
Uh, you don't see it very often when the cops in the right place to catch somebody doing something. Okay, as you guys know, I absolutely love Motor Week. I watch Motor Week all the time, uh, especially the retro Motor Week, especially cars I grew up watching. But this one I was watching, I want you to just tell me, just watch this one for a second. Just tell me, tell me if you see anything. All right, here we go. A lot of trunk space. All right, it's what, just driving along with a Z34, I believe. Just driving along. Doing the road test, no big deal. Did you see the guy in the background? I'm gonna go let's do it one more time. Check him out right back there. He's in the trees, right above the car, right there. When I first saw it, I thought it was somebody that was doing landscaping, but I think it's the boom pole operator. Let's zoom in. I'm pretty sure it was the boom pole operator, probably getting the sound of the car driving by, picking up that audio. But that is the first time. Most of the time you see it and they have the people there and you know it's there, but that's the first time I've seen one where it was like, I they they did not mean to catch that guy. I'm sure when they were editing, they were like, Jim, dude, what were you doing? What were you thinking? You're supposed to hide in the trees, but there he is. But I thought that was I thought that was pretty funny. So that's a motor trick retro. Okay, so watch this. This is on racing fails. Comes across. Oh, smash. Okay. I do not know. What kind of race this is, I don't know if it is sanctioned. I don't know who is running it. But I have a hard time believing that <laughs> that, that is the head marshal. Check it out. When it is written in Sharpie on the back of your coat, <laughs> I have a hard time believing that that is the marshal. So anyway, I thought that was hilarious when I saw that. I'm like, oh, that car, that sucks. And I'm like, head marshal? There is no, there's no way that's the head marshal. That's funny. Okay, I thought that was hilarious. So, <laughs> if it is the head marshal, couldn't have been a big entry fee for that one. Okay, so, in the United States, we, we're getting more and more roundabouts. We don't have a lot of them. It's definitely something uh, that we know in Europe. You have quite a few of them. We don't have a lot here. So, as they're popping up, people have no idea how to drive when it comes to a roundabout. It is, it is one of the reasons why I got my dash cam because I see so much crazy stuff. I just don't know what people are thinking. If it was a four-way stop sign, you would not drive like that. Yet, when you come to a roundabout, people are just completely lost on what to do. Um, for instance, uh, we know that the roundabout actually, it saves the city money as far as maintenance, but it's actually safer, okay? Now, it's kind of hard to believe, especially with everybody here trying to figure out how to drive in them. Who do I yield to? Where am I supposed to go? What lane can I turn out of? All that kind of stuff. But the key fact of a roundabout is people slow down when they get to a roundabout, which makes everybody pay more attention and traffic actually moves smoother. And the key there is people slow down. These people did not. <laughs> so just watch this. We're coming up on the roundabout. Okay, no big deal. And here he goes. And boo. <laughs> <clears throat> he didn't make it all the way across when they get but check this out. Look at the oh, he catches air. Oh my gosh, that's that is so bad. Hold on, I gotta say that again because that right there, dude, that guy was flying. Oh my gosh, look at that. He cuts across and oh, now his tail lights were on, so he was on the brakes, but he wasn't slowing down. There was no signs of slowing down there. I don't even see skid marks or anything. He just went straight through. Man, okay, so that's pretty crazy. So I haven't seen anything quite like that on a roundabout in person. This is my favorite one, although that last one was pretty strong. This is my favorite roundabout video. This guy, I, oh, jeez, flying and boom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the amount of air he gets. He completely clears the roundabout island. Luckily, there is a big water puddle there to soften his 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 fall, uh, slowing down completely, loses the bumper. There's a dog, I think, that walks across here from the left here in just a second. Dog's like, did you hear that? That's pretty crazy. Cars are driving by. They have no idea what's going on. The guy actually gets out, and then he walks around. Somebody else is coming through, and he actually walks around like, what happened? And the people are coming out there to check on him. But, yeah, let's watch it one more time. That That is absolutely my favorite. Uh, that guy, man, he is going, it, man, what great air though. Look at that. Completely cleared it. Landed on two wheels. He almost landed on all four, but, uh, he didn't roll it. He stayed upright. So that's pretty good. Man, look at that. And there's no way you could have missed that one. So the previous guy, he's zipping too fast and cutting through. We're going to 
think that maybe he's never been on that street before. But that guy saw the island the whole time. He knew it was coming. So, oh, that's crazy. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, next week, I promise I'll be in... Uh, Better physical condition. I'm probably not too entertaining today, but it is so good to be back and sharing videos with you. Uh, if you didn't get a chance, be sure to check out the Cyber Truck, the zero to sixty. That was a good one to see what your score is. We got some great videos coming up next week. We got some more zero to sixties. Uh, we got some new toys I found uh, here recently that I think are awesome. We've got all of our Hot Wheels behind us. We'll talk about some of those. I got some new ones here over the holidays. Um, be sure to send us your funnies, the things you find on the internet so that I can share them. If you have a cool car, send me pictures of it. I want to highlight it on the show and give you a shout out. If you've got a car for sale, let me know. We might special and highlight it on the show as well. So send it my way. Remember to like, comment, and share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let's talk about cars tomorrow.